as well as the standard fair use policy, this video is protected under the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, 1787. Moors are awake. We are taking our place on this planet. This is part two to the Denise Pauline Ritchie, a.k.a. Light to Jerry Bay's court hearing where King Abdullah Al is trying to represent her even though he's not a lawyer and I'm sure the judge is going to get into that this hearing they're not going to let King Abdullah represent Denise Pauline Ritchie so this is uh part two this is the second court hearing I'm sure this is going to be a complete mess so let's get into it Ritchie. 1A250975, 7Z120157170144492. Emily Shepard Conning Store for the city. Your Honor, Karama Hawkins, Hawkins in Crawford. It is my understanding that um, a notice of appearance has been filed in this case. This matter was continued. Um, because Miss um, Ritchie was not present. Um, a competency evaluation was completed with the opinion that Miss Ritchie is competent. Um, and so it's my uh, belief that um, the court should go for with making that finding and uh, proceeding forward. Um, I also am a little bit confused because a notice of appearance has been filed. And um, I guess I need clarity. I know that Miss Ritchie had um, some earlier cases and she was proceeding pro se, which she has a right to do. Um, and it's uh, my understanding that um, based on her beliefs that it's inappropriate for me or any member of the bar to assist her. Okay, and well, so, uh, based on that, I did file need, a notice of. We we need to address this one thing at a time, okay? Because the first of all, well, first thing is the competency evaluation, mm -hmm. okay? Because she can't waive counsel if she's not competent, okay? So, uh, the, who's handling this, Miss Shepherd County Sewer? I am, Your Honor. Now, Miss, there's no evidence that Miss Ritchie is present in court, uh, uh, online or otherwise, okay? I'm representing Miss Ritchie. Okay, and, and, that, and that's, this is why I went fine. to the other issues. That's fine, but but first of all, I got to figure out if if she's competent, then she can waive counsel. Okay, uh, so let me look, uh, Miss Shepard Connoisseur. Do you believe? Do, do you agree that the competency evaluation shows that she's competent? The city is in agreement to that. Yes. Okay, uh, then I'm going to find her competent. Has there ever been a formal waiver of counsel filed with the court? Yes, there were um, there were two earlier cases, I believe, that were in pretrial status, and the court went through that inquiry and found that she could represent herself. Okay, so the judge just found Miss Ritchie, aka Light to Jerry Bay, competent enough to represent herself. Now, the only issue is. He found her competent enough to represent herself, but that doesn't mean that now King Abdullah Bey can now step in and represent her. He can't because he's not a lawyer. So she can literally just represent herself, but you, King Abdullah Bey, cannot represent her because you are not a lawyer. Okay, so uh, those two pretrials, are those cases, um, the two of the pretrials that are on today or two pretrials in other cases in other, you know, that, have, that are closed? No, in this court. I know, but, but of the cause numbers that are before the court, are any of, did she waive in either of those, any of those cause numbers? Yes. Okay, and I'm, I have to find it. Okay. On January 4th, 2018, she waived counsel. Okay. And it was accepted, I think. Let me make sure. Yes. 
she was given standby counsel, actually, and that's what your role, Ms. Hawkins, in those cases is, is standby. Uh, I, I was not aware of that. Yeah, it's in the in the uh, it's right uh, above Judge Robertson's signature. Okay. Okay, and then. Um, well, I can let the court know that she's declined any assistance. Um, right. As I stated, it's it's um, a very strong held belief that it would be inappropriate or wrong for any bar member uh, to assist. Okay. So um, the. Um, at this point in time, it's uh, uh, any objection um, to Ms. Hawkins withdrawing from anybody? Uh, no no objection. objection. Withdrawal. However, uh, you had a hearing with me before on a prior hearing. I believe it was on, it was on March 3rd. And uh, I, asked, I demanded that you provide me with your oath of office and your official bond, uh, uh, David Larson. Uh, okay. Same thing with uh, the attorney, Ms. Harris, that just left, or I see her now. Okay. And and Jessica, um, the other attorney for the for the city. Uh, okay. Based upon the fact that you you guys are human traffickers. Okay. And, 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 and that's don't under, cut me off, I please. Don't cut me off. Okay. When I finish talking, you'll know. Don't cut me off. You did that last time. Yeah, and I'm, I'm and I'll run, sir. I'll run my courtroom the way I think it needs to be no, run. I'm the court, right? sir. I'll let you speak. You said you bound, I'll let you speak. Sir. But right now, you're practicing sir? law without a license. I'm not practicing law. Let's test yes, you it. are. Let's see who's practicing, sir. Okay, go Let's ahead. Go ahead and speak. Okay, well, that's right. That's what. Don't cut me off again. Okay. I'm the court. Okay. As long as I'm you understand that you're committing an unlawful act by well, speaking on behalf of Ms. Ritchie. As long, long as, as you can prove it. Okay. Well, it's right now it's being it. recorded. Well, I'm, I'm recording okay. too. If okay. you can prove what you're talking about, let's test it. Okay. My court is a Moroccan court, sir. You are impostering on my court. You're an interloper. Okay. Okay. Now I ask you. Absolutely. For, I ask Absolutely. For, and, and I'm a witness. Okay. My this, name is Empress. Empress uh, Amina Sophia L. Bay, and, that's, and I'm a witness to this. And that's 346-339-6382 that's speaking? Wow. So not only did Light to Jerry Bay not show up to her court hearing again, she has a fake lawyer, King Abdullah L., representing her and he's not a lawyer so that's never going to work but they also have other random bays on the call making statements this is absolute madness i wouldn't be surprised if the judge holds them all in contempt and issues warrants for every single last one of these fools and it'll be easy to find them because they're on a Zoom call. So all they got to do is look for their IP addresses. It's it's mind blowing that Light to Jerry Bay actually thinks that King Abdullah Bay, the way he's acting very hostile in the court right now, is actually going to make things better for her. This is crazy. That is. OK, thank you, ma'am. Um and then and, and, and I'm also wanting to uh, please let him speak. Okay. And I don't mean any disrespect, but we have to hear him because okay. we're conducting an investigation. Okay. And if you could please allow him to speak, I would very much appreciate it. Okay. Uh, so just so it's clear, as an officer, as a as a sworn judge. I can't permit the unauthorized practice of law, okay? And what's happening is the unauthorized practice of law. Well, let's and, test it. Okay, sir, I'll let you speak, but as long as as long as you understand when you're doing this that potentially you're subjecting yourself to criminal liability. Sir, let's test it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. You saying I'm practicing law? 
last time we spoke, didn't you say, didn't you say you weren't bound to the U.S. Constitution and the Treaty of Peace and or the Iroquois Moorish American Treaty of Peace and Friendship of 1787 after I broke it down to you? That is the supreme law of the land. And when you found out that you were bound to so-called black people, oh, you almost had a fit and said, I'm not bound. Sir, I said, what? <laughs> Hand me your, your, your oath of office and your official bond. Okay. So when I'm talking to you, sir, I'm talking to you from the Republican form of government. I'm never going to speak to you from this Democratic form of government, which is an overthrow of my government. So when I speak to you, I'm talking to you from law. I'm not talking to you from something you wrote. Okay? Your stuff you wrote is treasonous. Now let's test the fact that I'm, ta I'm practicing law in my state that I own, what you're trying to interlope on. I'm not going to let you interlope and use any law here in my dominions or on my land. I own over a million miles square, and you're saying I'm practicing law on my land. I'm, I rule here, sir. Okay. I'm a noble. Okay. And then when you can prove what you're talking about, you better use some codes. So let's t let's test the um, the facts about what law is, and we'll we'll see what you're talking about before you even have anything to say to me. Right. Let's go. Let's go to right. Article Six of the U.S. Constitution, sir. And we'll, we'll, we'll get there and we'll see who's practicing law. You got your, you got your people here and I have my court with me. Okay. I'm in my court. You don't have a court. Let's go. Okay. So pull up article six of the U.S. Constitution. Let's talk about it. Are you ready, Mr. No Bond? Sir, no uh, bond. Sir, you, I, you said you wanted to speak. Go ahead and speak. I'm speaking and I'm asking you to go and share the screen. Like you did last time when you found out you represented, you had to protect all people that look like me. But you're afraid of it. So you human traffic, sir. This is a human trafficking sir, case. Sir, you're, you're Let's put up my notice of appearance. You're, you're and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so your, your accusations are unfounded. Well, no, you don't have just no a minute, just a minute, sir. like that. Just a minute, Hold on. Sir. You, don't, you don't represent nothing here. Okay. I told you that. I, I and tell I you what. You I tell you what. Bond. I tell you what's going to happen. Cut me off. No, I am Don't cutting cut you off. off. <laughs> Nothing King Abdullah just said made any sense whatsoever. Nor does anything that he just said have anything to do with the case at hand. It's just crazy to me that Light to Jerry Bay has these people so brainwashed that they're willing to commit crimes for her. This man is going to mess up, mess around and get locked up for interfering with this court case. This is madness. He needs to be mentally evaluated because he's sick. Because you've cut me okay. off, sir. So what I'm going to well, do is go. I'm going to speak. You asked me a question. You asked me a question okay. about Article 6. Let's, let's you did, you, either you did or you didn't ask me that question, sir. Yeah, I did. I asked okay, you then I get to answer it, don't I? Yes, sir. And then you're let's not going to interrupt me, are you? No, sir. Good. I did read Article 6 last time. I did talk about the fact that the supreme law of the land includes treaties, constitution, etc. I asked today for that to be brought forward with legal arguments of, on whether you're right or wrong on that particular issue. Is the city ready to proceed on that particular issue? Sir, we Just haven't finished I'm asking, I'm asking Ms. Shepard Gossor. You're not moving forward yet. Proceed? You're not ready to proceed. I've served them the information that's to provide me with the, the, the um, mayor's bond because you're inter interloping on my land and pretending to have law that's not law, and you're an interloper. You're a con man. Okay. So um, when I finish, when I tell you about proving something, don't jump to the city because the city hasn't even begun to get in the game yet. We're talking about Article 6 upon which they're bound to. So when you start talking about knowledge and what you're running, you don't you don't rule nothing here, sir. Let's rule. Let's look at Article 6 before you jump into the city. I own the city. That's that's my land. Sir, are you driving city. a car while you're on Zoom? My land. Are you driving you your car while you're on Zoom, sir? 
We're going to discuss. Can, can, can you read Article 6? Can you read I'm Article asking, 6? I, I did last have time, and I've, I've asked that the, the issue be brought brought forward legally to the court this time. Okay. okay. Let me, um, let me I, do what I need sir, to I do. Sir, I don't make arguments. I, I make rulings, okay? So if you, you want to bring forward a lot of me, you want to bring forward the lot of me, I'll be glad to listen to it. Okay, well, as soon as you can help me share my screen, I'll bring it up. Because we're going to get this read. Because you are you you said you weren't bound. I never said that. I Don't you? I, I have this. I have you saying that. <laughs> uh, sir, that is ludicrous. Well, let's find that out ludicrous. if you're bound. That's I ludicrous. want you to be bound. Read Absolutely Article 6, ludicrous. Sir. Read Article 6. You want to play games? This is not a game when you human traffic Empress to jury like Bay. Or like to Jerry Bay. You call it ludicrous when I see you human trafficking people and telling them here's some statutes and codes for them to take for you to take their freedom and money. Statutes and codes are not law, sir. Statutes and codes are not law, sir. Don't apply that here. You bypass the Constitution when you use statutes and codes. That's the only way you can win. You cannot win here. You're on my land. Okay? So when we test, we test... Thorough. There's Article 6, sir. Go ahead. Okay. We will do that. There's Article 6. Well, I ask you to read it. I can I can read. And okay, I, do, that. It's, it's, do that. It's on the screen. Are you asking well, me to read, to read it read out it, loud? I want you to read it, sir. Okay. All debts contracted and engagements entered into before the adoption of this Constitution shall be valid against the United States under this Constitution as under the, uh, as under the Confederation. Okay. The Constitution laws of the United Hold States. On, don't, don't read. We're going to break it down because you think this is some kind of reading thing. This is about testing my ability to, to do law on my land that I own and your ability to not live here or have a job here or do anything here, sir. Because okay. you're a European. Watch what I'm saying. It says all debts contracted and engagements entered into before the adoption of this Constitution which is 1789, which was never adopted, but you want to believe it's adopted. I'm saying I'm, it's not. Shall be valid against the United States, which is owned by the Moors, my people, uh, under the under this Constitution, as under the Confederation, which is the Iroquois or Iroquois Confederation, my people. They defeated the 13 colonies. So apparently, not only does King Abdullah Bey have a mental problem, but he also has a reading comprehension problem. This dude clearly does not understand what he reads, and he makes up his own fake meaning for what he just read. Nothing that he just read has anything to do with this court hearing. So that's why the judge is just pretty much letting him hang himself. He said, pull it up. The judge pulled it up and read it. And now he's just pretty much making a complete fool of himself. You owe us money. You're bound to keep that going. Okay, let's go to article, article six, paragraph two. You're talking about law, statutes, and codes. Let's find out what you're practicing is criminal. You're treasonous, sir. Okay. This Constitution and the laws of the United States, which shall be made in pursuance thereof, and all treaties made, which is our, our documentation of the Iroquois Articles of Confederation, Iroquois Constitution, the Iroquois Moorish American Treaty of Peace and Friendship of 1787, which we established the government where we defeated the 13 colonies and turned the 13 colonies into the United States of America before George Washington was ever thought of. OK. And so when you're talking about I'm practicing law, you better find out what you're doing because you're going to get tested here. OK, so we have a treaty, sir. You know, it's the supreme law of the land, right? That's what I was asking the other, the last hearing, sir. Is it disjunctive no. or conjunctive? You didn't ask anything. You don't have to ask. It's already in words. Okay. Okay. Just follow the law and you'll be fine. Don't go outside the law. You have problems with me. 
I have a guillotine for all of you criminals. Okay, is that a threat, and, sir? No, this is what the law is. Is, on that, our is land. that a threat, sir? On our land. <laughs> Yo, this dude, King Abdullah, is so insane that he just threatened the judge with a guillotine. Wow. This dude is completely out of his freaking mind. On our land, this is the law of the treaty. Are you threatening me with a guillotine? No, I said. Won't you listen to me? Don't keep reiterating something I haven't said. Okay. I'm okay. just telling you what the penalties are. That's what I'm telling you for, t for, t for high treason. What you're, accu what you're accusing me of. Well, I'm, when you finish, don't cut me off. I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. Okay. You're going to find out right here. And this is where you test being tested to see if you're following the law. Because so far from what I've seen, you presented people with statutes and codes. You and these lawyers up here can't do that. Why don't you be full with, give people full disclosure about this treaty that all people have treaty rights only. No constitutional rights. They only have treaty rights. And Miss um, Miss Hawkins, you and I went through this case. And now you want to act like you, you bright and don't know nothing. You know better. I have you recorded saying you don't know law at all. And that you, you need to sue the law school to get your money back because you don't know law. Is that true? Ms. Hawkins? Ms. Hawkins is, is not being asked questions today. I'm asking questions here. This is the so, federal criminal investigation. Okay, then, then you're, gonna, you're gonna, not going to conduct it on my time, sir. Oh, this okay. is our time, sir. No, you, it's my you time. You got cannons. My you time. got cannons. You have a job. Okay, this a nine is, to five so, job. So, sir, what, what are you? What are you? Don't what relief are you asking for when from I this court? When I finish reading, don't cut me off. We're testing here. Okay. We're testing your ability, not my ability. Okay. That's fine. That's and, that, and, and that's right, fair. Sir. Go ahead. Well, don't cut me off. I'm testing you. Okay. You want to test me? I'm testing you. Okay. I'm a federal criminal investigator. I am a judge in my court. This is my land. Where is your land? Where you come from? I was born in Tacoma. No, where is your <laughs> where's your where's your bloodline from? The oh, Tacoma. Is about blood. Oh, Us my, and them. My blood was born in Tacoma. No, sir. Yes, it was. Your people. You, where's your people's land? Are Better you a way. Moor, sir? Are you a Moor? No, I'm not a Moor. Okay, well, you can't live here or have a job here, sir. You can only do commerce here. This is what the Constitution is talking about. Can we get back to Article 6? Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, let's finish. Because you, you're nasty inside. You're dirty. You're criminal. Okay. And you want to pretend you're cool. You ain't cool. You're pretending to be a moor, sir. Excuse me, sir. But what in the doohickey are you talking about? How is the judge pretending to be a moor? When you just asked the judge if he was a Moor and he clearly said no, what are you talking about? And this has no relevance to the case. Like, all you're doing is making things worse for your boss, like to Jerry Bay. This is a complete mockery of the court system. The United States is owned by the Moors. Okay. So how is it that you're sitting there acting like you're a moor? You're an interloper. You're a con man. And you want to test me? I'm test I've, you. I've heard you say don't that before. When you finish. Okay. I know you're not a moor, moor so you can't live here. Okay. You're going to go through this treaty, and Miss Hawkins know all about it. Okay. Because she's a con man, too. Con woman. All of you. Okay, if the, the, don't what, what if I agree, sir? What, just a minute, sir. What if I agree that this court has no jurisdiction to I determine the validity? Just a minute. If the court, this court has no jurisdiction to determine the validity of the treaty, the treaty you refer to, if I said that, would you agree with me, sir? Only a noble can use the treaty. I know, You're but, but could you agree then that this court no, has no I'm jurisdiction? No, I'm not going to agree anything until I finish talking to you. Okay, we'll you'll get, find get out to the point then. Talking. Get to when the we point. Find, when we finish finding out what you have to do, then okay. you'll know whether or not I'm practicing law or not. This is okay. what we're talking about. Okay. You accuse me of a crime, sir. Yes, I did. Well, you better have something to back it up when I finish. Okay, well, you, are, you you're out. intending to speak right on behalf of, of Miss Ritchie today, aren't you? Sir, when we finish, don't cut okay. me off. Your ability to, to hold court, you can't do. This is what I'm going to show you right here. Okay. 
Now, our treaty is the Supreme And if you would let him educate you, he's trying to educate but, uh, you. And, that, and that I, what you I, keep I, cutting him off. Right. I, I, I implore you to just, you know, take a minute and listen to him okay. and stop feeling uh, attacked. But he's really well, I, educating you. I'm not feeling attacked. I'm just trying to get, understand what I'm at, supposed to be doing. But what, 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 what okay, I understand, well, just, just a moment, just a moment. Just what listen. I understand, what I understand is that I have no him. jurisdiction uh -huh. because of this treaty. I have no jurisdiction to decide anything in this case. I haven't said you have jurisdiction, sir. You made that up. I haven't said that. Then what is the point? Pay attention. Pay attention. If you can you I, I will when you get to the point. Can so you get to go the point. it up? I'm, I need you to read. Just be quiet. I need you to read. I need you to read our, right, the, what he was telling you. Right, yeah. and that's where we were talking about, and we've kind of got off on this be tangent. Quiet. So what is Article 6, the rest of it? You need to learn, sir. Let's get back to Article 6. Law. Article I've 6. you human traffic people, sir. Okay. You, you're a human trafficker, man. You've said that. Don't play now, with me. Let's establish something new. What Else. Okay, we're going to establish what's here. Okay. There's not, nothing new. And don't you make up laws on the bench, sir. Okay. Okay, well, that's what you're trying to do to implore or insinuate that I'm practicing law on my Okay, land. well, we've talked don't about that. that. So how about Article 6? Well, we're going to do that. We did it last time. And you choked up and said, I'm not bound. And and I asked you for your oath of office. And I have it in writing. So let's finish. And don't okay. cut me off because you have cannons, sir. Okay. I know all of your stuff. Okay, now, I'm going to start all over. You owe us money from the first article, okay? The Confederation, the Iroquois Confederation. That flag y'all see with the KKK members running around here with that, with that, with the, the cross, with the flags, with the stars, that's Moorish, that's the Moorish flag. But your, your European, Europeans are running around here saying, it's mine. We're the Confederates, you're nothing. We're the Confederate. You stole everything, and then you want to sit in my place pretending you can represent somebody on my land and say you got a court. You don't have a court. You're bound okay. to the Moors. Then why, why are you, why well, are you trying finish. to convince me of anything if I don't have a court? To ask me any qu exactly. That's a very good question that the judge just asked this Morris fool. Why are you trying to convince him of anything if he doesn't have a court? Furthermore, if the court don't have jurisdiction, why are you there on the Zoom call making arguments for light to Jerry Bay? She should have just not sent you to show up for her court hearing. If the courts don't have jurisdiction, then just disregard the, the, the court date. So that way, when the judge then issues a warrant, and the bounty hunters come and knocks on Light's Jerry Bay's door to come and collect her. She can explain, hey, and my lawyer, King Abdullah Bay, told me that I don't have to worry about you guys. And then they'll take her stupid behind right, her stupid behind right to jail. Questions, just let me finish talking. Okay. And you'll know when it's your turn, sir. Don't cut me off. I'm charging you as a as a war criminal. Okay. All of you. Y'all better take me serious because my court is online. They listening to me. Okay. Now you lied to me saying you say you were not bound. And watch. Not, not. Okay, we're going to read this, this part again. You, you took your time when you were stealing those people's money with the statutes and codes. You're going to take your time learning about your job. All of you. All of you are criminals. You don't have no rights to be a lawyer on this land. All lawyers are forbidden. Okay. Watch. This Constitution and the laws of the United States, which, which shall be made in pursuance thereof, and all treaties made, or which shall be made under the authority of the United States, which is owned by the Moors, shall be the supreme law of the land. And the judges in every state shall be bound thereby. Are you bound, sir? I'm bound by the Constitution, of course. Well, did you see what it said about the treaty being the supreme law of the land? If the treaty relates to what I do, I'm bound by it. Well, I haven't seen you do anything today treaty-wise. Okay. 
Nothing. Nothing. All of you lawyers, nothing. Watch. And the judges in every state shall be bound thereby. Anything in the Constitution or laws of any state to the contrary, notwithstanding. Meaning you can't use nothing outside of the treaty, statutes and codes, anything you're talking about. But you used it today. So you're saying you're bound to the treaty, sir? If it applies to what I do, yes. It applies, sir. Your job comes from the treaty. Watch. Okay, where's the this treaty? Muslim law. Okay, which Only treaty? Muslim law can be here, not statutes and codes. Don't you have case law saying that um, statutes and codes have to, you have to give consent to that? To let judges use that, so called judges? Man, you're not a judge, you're con man. The United States is owned by us. That's what I'm here for. You human trafficked empress to jury, like, like to jury Bay and others. That's what you guys are doing now. Watch. So you're using statutes and codes to human traffic people, correct? Is that part of the treaty, sir? Are you asking me a question? <laughs> yes, sir. Because you, you I have no idea if it's part of the treaty. Oh, oh, OK. We're going to get there. Because that's what we need before you even begin to think that you're running the show. Because you, 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 you're a con man. Okay. Okay. And it says here, the senators and representatives before mentioned and the members of the several state legislatures and all the executive and judicial officers, both of the United States and the several states, shall be bound by oath or affirmation. I ask you for your oath last time and your bond because you said you weren't bound. Now you want to play games like, well, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You crook. Yes, you did. You ain't nothing, man, but a liar. And that's why I'm here to crack your face open for lying. Okay, that, is that Stop another threat? Lying. Is that another no, threat? I'm, I'm saying with words, sir. Okay. Yo, this dude has lost his ever-loving mind. Not only does none of the things that he's saying make any sense, He's now threatened the judge for a second time. I'm just wondering why the judge doesn't ask King Abdullah to read the 10th Amendment. And that would end his argument altogether. Okay, well, that's why you want everything to be a threat. I'm over here on the computer, man. Well, you're talking about breaking my don't face take open. It as a threat, man. I'm showing you, you don't have no ability to do what you're doing. And so I'm telling you, you're pretending to be a moor. Only a moor can run this rule here and be a judge here. You're not a moor. That's what the treaty is saying. When you go through this here, you're going to see that you can't live here. Okay. You can't have a job here. The house you live on in mine. You'll see. That's what I'm going to show you right now. Now, the senators and representatives before mentioned and all members of the several states and legislatures and all executive and judicial officers, both of the United States and the several states shall be bound by oath or affirmation to support this constitution, but no religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the, the United States. Now, this qualifies all of you guys to see, are you bound? All lawyers on this hearing, let me hear if you're bound to the Moors. I have, no I have no jurisdiction Hello? to determine that. Sir, I didn't ask you about determining anything. You haven't proved your worth yet. Are you bound to the moor, sir? No. <laughs> well, how was it that you got your job? I was That's elected the by the people of the, of the city no, of Federal Way. The, the people can't elect you to do nothing. Because okay. you're bound to the treaty. Pull up the treaty. Let's let's find out what you're talking about. That's what I'm waiting for. Okay, I can't. Um, you won't let me give me allow allow me to um present my screen. Yeah, you're bound, sir. You haven't used anything but statutes and codes today. You and the lawyers talking about you're gonna ha ask. You don't have authority to have them to do that. So you want to find out? Go ahead and share the screen, sir. Do anything. Go ahead and share the screen. Okay. 
Perfect. Because you're out of bounds, sir. Okay. All of you. You want to talk about me. This is Morocco. You see that where it says on the top of the land of this here document? No. You don't see that I'm sharing the screen? No, no, it's nothing's coming up. How did you share the screen to make sure? Well, because you, it actually has to be on your screen. It can't be an independent document. You'd have to hold it up to the camera. Otherwise, if it's not on your phone, you won't be able to share it. It's not. It's, I'm on my computer. Okay, if it's not on your, if it's on your computer, you should be able to share a screen. You just go well, down to the bottom and put share screen, and then pick the document you want to show. That. I did that. You don't yeah. see anything? No. It might take a second to get there. Well, I, I filed it in the court record. Look at, pull up my file, and uh, you can file, find my document, my notice of appearance. Well, what's it called? I, I, what's it called? Well, um, the document is my notice of appearance. Pull that up. Let's. Uh, Get there first so you can see why I'm here. Okay. I don't believe you understand what I'm here for. I'm not here to attack you. The treaty is a document. Called, it's the document of the Europeans or the 13 colonies surrendering to the Moors after they lost the Revolutionary War to the women. Our women defeated the 13 colonies, sir. They ruled the earth. And you are in, in their way from ruling. Yeah. As you're saying, you're bound yeah, I don't, I don't huh? see, I don't see the document in the file, sir. You see my, you don't see my notice of appearance. I talked to the, talked to the clerk yesterday. Okay, again. just a moment, Sharon. Could you tell me where that is? Can you see it? I got U.S. District Court waiver of document, U.S. District Court civil cover sheet, um, removal of the U.S. District Court, uh, waiver of counsel, habeas corpus light, uh, Tajari Bay. These are my documents, not and then hers. Appointment of counsel. That's the appointment of counsel is a different document for Ms. Hawkins. No, my documents are filed. Oh, wait, here, just a moment. Here we go okay. up, up higher. Just a minute. I can assure you I'm not practicing law on my land. Sir. Okay. Uh, they looks like they have the case numbers on them. Let me let me let me do something. Mm -hmm. And um Okay. That's okay. the treaty. Okay, that now you you are sharing it now. All right, appreciate it's showing, you. It's showing up. All right. Okay, um I'm trying to move your um how do you move this these people out the way in the camera or the video? Uh, I don't think you can. Okay. okay. Well, I, I got enough room to read what I want to say. As you can see, where you are, sir, is called Morocco. Did you know that? I'm not even fully understanding why this judge is playing along with this fool. We've already, the judge has already established that this man is not a lawyer, so he can't represent Lights Jerry Bay. So all they're doing right now is just wasting time. This man is just reading random documents that have nothing to do with the case. This is all just a waste of time and taxpayers' money. No. Oh, you didn't know that, but you're sitting on the bench. When you're dealing with the Moor, you're not dealing with a citizen at all you're dealing with the landowners called called moors scroll down to article 21 this is a court order sir this is when your ancestors surrendered you'll see benjamin franklin thomas jefferson and john adams listed in there now i'm going to show you article let's go article 21 and stop it right there it says if a citizen of the united states shall kill a wound a moor which i'm not a citizen i'm a moor or on the contrary if a Moor shall kill or wound a citizen of the United States, the law of the country shall take place. Our law is not your law. This is our country. Okay? And equal justice shall be rendered. I haven't seen equal justice rendered today, sir. The counsel assisting at the trial, I'm counsel, and if any delinquent shall make his, make his escape, the counsel shall not be answerable for him in any manner whatsoever. So as you can see, there's, let's go to article. Let's finish that. Let's, let's study this real quick. So as you can see, who's the citizen, sir? Okay. 
I don't. Judge, you know, based, uh, on, David based on your interpretation of law, I, based on your interpretation of law, I don't know anymore. <laughs> sir, you're reading the document. I know. This I is, know what I think is citizen of the United States. No, not what you think, sir. I'm going to show no, you what it is. I'm in a acknowledging, sir. You're telling me that what I I'm think not, is incorrect. I'm not saying. I didn't say you were incorrect. I was asking you to look at who's the citizen and who's the more. That's what I'm asking you. Yeah. Why are you complicating it? This is not complicated. It's in writing, sir. Okay. You're complicated if you want. That's and, and this is there, not a, a, is there any not evidence a thin in, game. Is there any evidence in this case that before this court that somebody got killed? Sir, this is this. You don't know. See, you shouldn't be sitting there ruling on my land because you don't know what this document is. Your family lost the war to the Moors, sir. You surrendered to my people. And when you've listened and stopped playing games about, you know, what a citizen, you don't know what a citizen is. You think I'm trying to make something up. Follow this first before you start going after 1787. Well, my, fam my family is living in Sjönfjord, Norway in 18th century. Okay, sir. Look, let's don't go off into that. Let's just stay focused, okay? I see you have problems focusing. Okay. I'm going to have to help you, okay? Wow. So this judge is playing games with the sovereign citizen, and the sovereign citizen is clearly getting upset and insulting the judge. First and foremost... King Abdullah Bey, you are reading the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, which has absolutely nothing to do with you. That treaty has something to do with Moroccan citizens, which you are not, and the United States. If a Moroccan citizen is over here and gets into some type of trouble, you can refer to that treaty and the king or the... the uh, the Sultan over there back in that time and use that treaty to help get that Moroccan citizen out of trouble. You are not a Moroccan citizen. And the more that is being described in that document, that more just means Muslim and that Muslim would be from the country of Morocco, or what you like to call the kingdom of Morocco. And the citizen that is being referred to in that document is actually you, you fool. If a Moroc, if a Moor from Morocco comes over here and kills somebody like you, a citizen, then you can refer to that treaty. That's it. You are not the Moor that is being referred to in the treaty. You are actually the citizen that is being referred to in the treaty because you were born here in the United States. You have a birth certificate that proves that. You have a social security number that proves that. Anyone born here in the United States is automatically a citizen. So the citizen that is being referred to in that scenario as being murdered would be you. And the more would be the Moroccan citizen that came over from Morocco to do business, got into some trouble, and killed somebody. That more is not you. Furthermore, this treaty has absolutely nothing to do with light to Jerry Bay's case. You are making a complete fool of yourself. You are a citizen. I'm a moor. Okay? Is that fine with you? Yeah, I'm a citizen, yes. I know okay. It, and, and you're you, not a more, right? You, no, I'm not more. Okay, well then, a citizen is somebody that, that listen, go to Article 14. Remember, you in my country now. I, you got <laughs> control of the screen, so you got to go to 14. Uh, no, I'm not turning anything. I'm not doing it. Somebody's doing it. I can't access it. <laughs> it's magic. Okay, keep going down to 14. Are, are you doing beautiful. it? Stop right there. Huh. It says, see, sir, this is what the treaty is about. It's about you being rich. It's that, that's all it's about. But George Washington hid these documents from you. So they made they need you to help this con game to continue. Because if you know what's up, you would never do what you're doing. Watch what I'm saying. This document here is what you what you what your people negotiated to get after they lost the war okay. to the women. The Moroccan women. 
the commerce with the United States, which is with the Moors. Remember, I talked to you about you owing us money in the, in the Constitution underneath Article 6, the first paragraph. Okay? Shall be on the same footing as is the commerce with Moorish Spain, or is that with the most favorite nation for the time being? It's none now. My job is to put it all back. Okay? And their citizens, which is not me, shall be respected and esteemed to have full liberty to pass and repass our country, sir, and seaports, our seas, sir, seven seas, whenever they please without interruption, because you were doing commerce on our land. Okay. So I'm going to ask you, are you doing commerce right now? No. Well, you're in violation of the treaty, sir. Okay. Which provision? Okay, so now, wait, wait. Now, you're saying you're not doing commerce, so then if you're not doing commerce, what are you doing? I'm trying to run a court. Well, you can't do it. Okay, because then. Because you can't leave if here I can't do it, then, then, sir, this is my, I have a question for you that can maybe short, yes, short yes, circuit sir. this a little bit, because I, I find this very interesting. Uh, it's not but, about being interesting. No, it's no about I know, being... I know, but the thing is, Go ahead. and understand that it's different than what I know, and, and you and I you agree. That, a lie. That, yeah, and you and I agree that, that what you think and what I think are different, and we can accept it's not that. think. Well, this is what the United whatever. States was created from, sir. Right, but but the question, the ultimate question I have for you is what, as as I'm sitting here, what do you think, what are you asking me to do or not do in this case, in this specific case that's before the court, or cases, what are you this asking me to do is, or not do? Okay, sir, you charge me with practicing law on my land, didn't you? No, but that has it has nothing to do. No, with, no, sir. That sir, has nothing to do with this case sir, because I don't get to charge sir, people. I don't get to. Sir, charge you're people. talking about citizens and Moors here. That's all you you bound to this treaty, isn't it? The treaty. I understand, but what? Well, what, don't start being to bound out. to something else to understanding anything because you're going to mess up the contract. I didn't ask you to change things. Understood. You're changing it, sir. No, Pay I'm attention. not changing it. I'm not changing anything. I just want to well, know what you, what you about? want me to do or not to do today of well, these cases. Sir, what I'm going to have you to do is pull up my notice of appearance. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. You can't live here or have a job here, sir. You're okay. pretending so to you're asking, you want me to voluntarily leave the United States? Sir, I'm kicking all of you out the United okay. States. I don't you're not have supposed to be here. I don't what have you're doing is, hold on, hold on. I'm going to answer your question. Okay. You won't pay attention, and I'm going to have to force you to pay attention because you think you're not a citizen. Obviously, because you're sitting where a moor can sit. Only a moor can sit here where you are, sir. That's what I'm explaining to you. Okay. What do you think you're doing? You're an interloper. You're a pretender. You're a con man. Okay. You're trying to con uh, Pauline Richie Moor to come to this fake court that says you can't live here or have a job here, but you want to rule over her, sir. Is that correct? I, I just want to. Uh, there's charges that have been. To it, sir. Just, I'm a just, you just a moment. Just a moment. You now, spin all the time. Don't you, spin here. You asked me a question. I'm answering it. You don't have well, to agree with my answer. I'm not. Agreeing okay. To anything, so she's been charged. This. Just a minute. Again, you don't have to agree with this, and I'm not asking you to. But she's been charged by the city of Federal Way with three with a crime of false statement to public servant in one case. She's been charged with the same charge in another case. And she's been charged with criminal trespass in another case. The criminal trespass is alleged to have occurred on February 8th of this year. The false statement was, uh, is alleged to have occurred on December 10th, 2017. And the other false statement is alleged to have occurred on October 10th, 2017. Those are the three cases before this court. I have no jurisdiction to decide the treaties between the Moors and the United States whether the United States uh, more, the United States is owned by the Moors, I have no authority whatsoever. I have the authority to rule on issues related to City versus Pauline Ritchie in these three cases with these three charges, and that is it. No other authority to do anything. Sir, I just read Article 6 to you, Paragraph 2, telling you that you're bound. Okay. Some kind of way you spin your butt right around to the other side to bypass the treaty. I'm talking to you only about the treaty. That's the only thing you could talk about, sir. Okay, then what part of the That's treaty the am I about? Thing, what part of the treaty? Let me then? finish talking. Okay. Let me finish talking. This is the only thing you're bound to. Okay. And what Why are you asking me to do about then? Something else. 
What are you asking me to do with the treaty then? Well, sir, your job, this is Muslim law, sir. You surrender. Your people surrender. This is what we're here for. Okay. You're a human trafficker. The treaty does not allow for you to take people. Somebody scroll to Article 16, please, because he seems to be a spin doctor and he's got something, some other agenda. This is Morocco, sir. This is not the United States of America. This is the United States of America is a business between the Moors and the United States citizens who were only to do commerce here and supposed to be rich is I don't know what. That's what this is about. George Washington hid this treaty from you, which is your birthright and my birthright. Simple as that. When you start using statutes and codes that you said you uh, charged Pauline Ritchie with, you're a criminal. You're, she's bound to this, you're bound to this, and you can't go to something else. Okay. That's what all of you lawyers are doing. So you're, you're asking, you're asking, so I, you're asking yes. the court to dismiss the charges then? No, I didn't ask you to do nothing. You're not the court, sir. Okay, then why sir, are you talking? Sir, I'm trying to show you what you... You challenged me. You said I'm practicing law. Let's finish this part. Okay. I'm not practicing law. It's you that's pretending to be me. Okay. That's what I'm telling you. You're bound to protect this. Okay. But you want to spin everything back to statutes and codes. You want to spin everything back to like you're you run stuff. You rule here. Okay. Sir, you're a citizen. You can only pass and repass our country and seaports whenever you might please. And it wasn't this far west either. Okay, okay. so when you're talking to me, I can only talk to you about this, sir. I do escrow. I do law. My job is to protect, defend, and enforce this treaty. Okay. And when I see people like you talking about, well, sir, I'm going to give you five years and some probation. I was like, this man is out his mind. He must don't know he's talking to Moors. Do you know Mexicans are Moors? Okay. This is the original land of theirs, too. They're, this is my family. I'm here to protect them. Let's look at our, let's read Article 16, because I don't think you have a comprehension about you pretending to be a Moor. And you're saying, well, that's not what I learned, but the Constitution is void, too, sir. It's not, it's not law at all. It was never seen by the emperor. Let's, it says, in case of a war between the parties, and we at war, because I have lawyers and judges saying that right in open court, okay? The prisoners are not to be made slaves. You made Sharon and other people, I mean not Sharon, but Empress Light to Jury Bay, made her a prisoner, a slave. You can't do that per the treaty, sir. And you're talking about, and you're talking about you can lock people up. This treaty does not, not allow for people to get locked up at all. But you're bound to this treaty. But I see you locking people up. Can't do it, sir. Okay. Can't do it. All you lawyers are quiet, huh? All your degrees are void on this land. All lawyers are forbidden on this land. Now, you don't like that? Judge, too, he's forbidden. He's not a moor. Okay. You have to be a moor here, sir. You can't live here. That's what I'm telling you. You're reading, even though you're reading it, it's ineffective here. Okay. All wars are immune. But so, let's finish this. Okay, cause, sir, let me tell you what you've convinced me of, okay? I'm, gonna I'm tell not you finished what, yet. Okay, well, well. I'm not finished yet. When you finish, I you almost, can give I, your I conjecture. I think you're almost are. But then go ahead. No, go when ahead. I finish reading 16, you can give me okay, your go conjecture. Ahead, go ahead. Go okay. ahead. In case of a war between the parties, the prisoners are not to be made slaves, but to be exchanged one for another, captain for captain, officer for officer, and one private man for another. And if there sh and if there shall prove a deficiency on either side, we don't have any prisoners locked up. It's you, all you con men, you human traffickers. I'm coming to get all of my people. You're on my land. Get off of my land. This is serious. This ain't something where you can spin back to the statutes and codes, Judge David Larson. You're not a judge here at all. Okay. You better judge okay. this. You start going outside of that, it's the supreme law of the land. You're not using supreme law. You're using statutes and codes that y'all made up to bypass our birthrights, to rob us blind. You're not going to do that here. You're not going to take Empress Light or anybody else. You better hand me your oath of office and your bond, all you lawyers, too. Because okay. you're human trafficking people. you got to stop. Okay. okay. you got private people locked up. Can't do it. We're at war. Okay. You're killing my people in the street. And you're talking about, let's go, sir. No, you're going to take your time with this case because you challenged me. You charged me with a crime with your mouth, sir, on my land. I'm the protector, defender, and enforcer here. I rule this. 
You're not a judge. You're a pretender. You're trying to be a moor. You can't be a moor. You're a citizen. Pay attention. You're out of, out of, out of bounds. Hand over your bond. Okay. Got a problem with that? Anything further? No, I'm not finished. I haven't finished since 16. I asked you to hand over your bond last time, and I need it now. And the rest of you, you're not going to be on my land practicing. Plus, federal way, the land belongs to me. I'm here to take it. Tell them that. Ask them about that, that, that email I sent them where I said, give me, give me your bond, uh, to a mayor, and all of the rest of you. Give me your bonds. You scared? Provide them. You want Sharon? I mean, you want Empress Light? Provide it. You want to provide her? Provide me with your stuff. You can't do nothing here on my land. Let's see. You got people as private men locked up. Can't do it with a treaty. And if there shall prove a deficiency on either side, it shall be made up by payment by the payment of 100 Mexican dollars. Mexicans are, are Moors. For each person wanting, we don't have prisoners. I want all of the 2.5 million people in my hands right now. You're bound to it. But you want to play, let's spin back to the statutes and codes where I'm comfortable. This is your job here. Your job comes from here. But remember, you can't live here and have a job here. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't even attend schools here. But you went here. You went to schools. I'm going to fix all of that. You're going to leave my land. Okay. Human traffickers. Okay. Anything, for, anything further? I finished yet, sir. Don't rush me. Okay. This time, the, your ancestors surrendered to my people. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. It's us and them. The Moors and the citizens. You haven't even gone through the treaty, but you're so impatient. You think you're going to rule today on something? This case here has something to do with Joe Biden. I sent this case to Joe Biden, sir. Okay. When you look at my notice of appearance next after I finish this, because you're so in, in, you're so, I don't know what to call you, but you're not a judge, okay? Mm -hmm. And it is agreed that all prisoners shall be exchanged in 12 months from the time of their being taken. I asked the governor... Jay Inslee to provide me, give me all my people years ago. He's hiding. He's hiding behind the Moors power. You're using the Moors power, man. You're putting Moors in prison with the Moors power. And you're not even a Moor. But you think, oh, the job you got, you can do, you can't do, sir, even if it looks right. It's a trick. You were supposed to be rich instead of having a job. That's what I'm telling you. You were born rich, sir, and you want to fight against it. Think about it. You went to school for 12 years all the time. You were supposed to do commerce here and be rich. But you want to human traffic people. You think that's the real job. It's not the job here. You can't do nothing here, so you have to go. And yeah, you're going to deport yourself. You see it right here. Deport everybody. That's what I'm demanding. But when you see my notice of appearance and my charges, you'll know I'm serious. Okay. And yes, I am talking about our law is the guillotine for high, tr high crimes like this okay. so, on our country. Uh, Anything now, you think I'm threatening you? Yeah. Where's your country? Any, anything from the city? Now, the city is not a country, sir. You oh, can't oh, represent oh, nothing oh. here. Pay attention. Okay. You keep reverting okay. back to you can do something. You on my land. You on my court. Pay attention. You bound to my court. Right here, this is a court order. Pay attention. Actually, actually sir, okay, I, let's I finish. try to revert back to the fact that I can't do anything. And you're Well, let's you're, finish. Don't so, revert back to nothing. Follow the treaty, sir. Well, you do this, a, don't you? Just a minute, sir. I'm agreeing that I have no jurisdiction to handle the issues you're raising. I have no jurisdiction. I didn't ask you I, to ch I didn't challenge that. You challenged me, sir, I, I, about I, me having the right to practice my, law here. That's this my rule. We're talking to pay attention, man. Pay attention. Okay. Don't change the subject here. No, I'm not changing the subject. Well, that's what you're talking making, about. I'm making a decision based on your I didn't argument. I ask you to make a decision. I am you don't make have a decision listen, sir. whether you like it or not. You're not okay. qualified so, to do anything. So what I'm doing, the decision treaty. I'm making today, no, the I'm not has no jurisdiction today. to address the issues that you're no, referring you to. Said I'm I agree law to that the court that, sir. has no jurisdiction. I didn't ask you to change issues. that, sir. Okay. I'm still talking. Okay. When I finish, that's I'm the court, sir. What are you doing? No, I'm I just a, told you you're I'm a citizen. I'm afraid not, sir. I'm afraid you're not. You're a citizen. I'm afraid you're a citizen. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid I'm, so you're I'm going to agree with you and say that I have no well, jurisdiction. you can't agree with the treaty, so you're not bound. Concluded. Provide me with your oath of office. This hearing and your bond. is concluded. Thank you. Yeah, because you're a criminal. Yeah, end, the, end the hearing. Yeah, you're a con man. Go off the record. More. End the. All I can say is this was a complete shit show. Nothing King Abdullah said made any sense none of it pertained to the case 
And I'm surprised the judge let this circus go on for so long. This this is shameful. <laughs>